In this episode, I'm going to show you how to upload a video into YouTube and set it up properly. Hi guys, so let's get started. I'm going to uh, show you how to upload a video into YouTube, but it's go I'm going to start with two assumptions. The first assumption is that you do have a YouTube uh, channel or YouTube account. And the second assumption is that you already have a video file. So there are two um, websites or two web pages that I pulled up. Uh, one is called uh, create a new web, uh, a new uh, channel for your YouTube. So in case you don't have one, you could actually go into support.google.com and type in create a new channel on YouTube and it will give you a step by step how to do it. And the second thing is the supported YouTube file formats in case you're not sure whether your video file is uh, compatible with YouTube. Uh, it basically takes MP3, MP4s, uh, WMV, which all the standard um, uh, video files and that should uh, work for you. So once you have those two, two things, a channel and a video file, I'm going to show you how to do it. Uh, if you look at your screen and if you're logged into your YouTube channel, you should see a little picture of yourself up top, uh, which actually indicates that you're logged in as opposed to just looking at a regular uh, YouTube without being signed in. And on the left side, if you're signed into your YouTube channel, you should see a little upload button right there. If you don't see a upload button, it means you're not signed in. So that's the clue to know whether you're signed into your channel or not. So basically what you have to do is just click on the upload button. So there you go. You've clicked on the upload button. And now you have this screen in front of you. First thing to note is there is an option here with a little drop down which shows you public, unlisted, private, and scheduled. What that is, is there are two things that are uh, really important, is the public and private. If you want to upload a video and you don't want to publish it now, then set it as private. The video will be only for your eyes until you change the setting back to public. Public means everybody can see it. And private will be only you. So if you want to upload it and then kind of like mess with the setting and kind of look at it or it's not the right time you're in the middle of the night and you don't want to publish this now you want to publish it during day hours then you would set it to private okay uh, once that's done this little setting the next thing is to actually click on that uh, button right here you just click on this uh, select files to upload and once you clicked on that uh, file to upload, you will get uh, you will get to your desktop where all your videos are stored and whatnot. I mean, wherever you put your video, and you're going to go and get it. Uh, I'm going to take a small video. Please note that some of those videos are very large. I'm going to do it with one that's actually 18 seconds, so it's going to be very quick to load. I'm just going to click on it, and then I just click on open. And now what it's going to do is it's going to start uploading this video. And you can see the little bar right there where it's saying it's uploading and you have the percentage. So as you can see, it's going very quickly. If you have a video that's several minutes, this can take a while. So just, you know, just be patient and just wait for the, uh, the video to load. Now, what's important while it's actually uploading the video, there are several things you need to do in order to uh, set your video properly. Okay, the first thing is the title right here. It just basically took the name of the file, which is M2U00127, doesn't mean anything. So I'm going to take this out. And here, what you want to type is the optimized title of your video, which means what I mean by optimized means the using the keyword that is the most descriptive of what this video is about. So if it's about a person, it should have their name. Let's just say I was doing a video about how to upload a video to YouTube. I would call this how to upload a, you got it, right? A video to YouTube. There you have it. So this is very descriptive. People are going to be able from the title, uh, being able to figure out what this video should be about. Right, that makes sense. That's the first thing. The second thing is the description. So, <clears throat> in the description, you can be um, more descriptive, which means you can add 
uh, a lot more uh, text. You can add links. You can add little times um, on the video, and then I'll, I'm going to show you that in, uh, in in more details. I use for me as I use a little template, which is what I use for all my videos. So I'm opening this file. So I'm using a, a template as you can see here uh, in the uh, in a note file, and basically what I do is I don't have to uh, I don't reinvent the wheel every single time. I just click on copy. And then I paste this on my uh, on my description, and all my content is right there with a little icon here. I can uh, stretch this up and see what this is about. So I have a um, a space for a question of the day that could uh, apply to you or not, which actually was inspired by the Gary v uh, Gary Vennershuk uh, videos. You can have a brief, brief description of the video. So this is where you can add, I would say, a sentence of two what the uh, video is about. The timestamp here, this is really important, is as you're going through your video, you should take the time that you are actually addressing specific things. And all you have to do here is just put in the time. So at 55 seconds, which is 0 colon uh, 55, is it mobile responsive? This is a timestamp that I had on a different video. And once we save it, then actually people can click on the 312 here, 3 minutes and 12 seconds, and go exactly to that spot on the video. So you're helping people go through exactly what they want to look at. And it's actually done just like that. Just enter the text and put the time. It's very, uh, very easy. The next thing is if you are mentioning links, which I actually mentioning a couple of links in this video, I'm going to put them right then and there so people can click on it and go take a look at it. And then just more text about, you know, do you want uh, more videos with Antoine about me? Uh, so you could have some, you know, descriptive and just add some some text here. You have the freedom to add a whole bunch of uh, a whole bunch of text. Just have that being helpful for you to you know promote what you're doing. In, in my case, helpful videos to uh, my clients and anyone else that would be interested into it. Okay, so that is the description. Next to that is are the tags. Sorry. Uh, the tags are well, basically uh, uh, a keyword or a couple of words that will um, help people find what the content is about. So now you've done the three most important things, which is the title, the description, and the tags. The next thing is the video thumbnail. So you can pick one of the three choices that YouTube is going to give you. In this particular case, it's an 18 second video, very quick video, and it's the same thing. It's actually a person sitting on the couch with a green wall behind them so it's just it's not going to give you much uh, much choices but you can actually upload a custom thumbnail I will recommend that you do that I would recommend that you actually have a nice picture thumbnail that you put the uh, a description a logo and you just make it uh, a, lo a little bit nicer if you don't have that you can use one of the thumbnails there and that will be that okay so once this is done and you've picked uh, the thumbnails You've picked, uh, you've actually entered your title, your description, and your tags. Then all you have to do is make sure that the setting of your video is public or private, however you want. I'm going to keep it to private. And you could add it to a playlist of yours, which is, in my case, you could create all kinds of playlists. I have how to and testimonial. I'm going to make this a how to. So I'm categorizing my video, and you could have multiple categories. Then I'm just going to simply click on done. And it's done. That's it. That is how you upload a video to YouTube. It's just that easy. Now, there are a few additional settings, more advanced settings in terms of monetization and, and whatnot. Um, I am going to show you that briefly right now. I'm going to you know, give you a 30-second overview of that. Um, but that's pretty much how you upload a video to YouTube. Okay, so we're going to click on Return to Editing. And then as you can see up top, now we have a tab that is called monetization. So you can actually monetize your video, which means that you're allowing YouTube to put ads on your video. You may want to do this. You may not want to do that. Now, in terms of you being able to make some money, let's just be straight here and uh, for you to understand what it's going to take. In order for you to make some real money out of the ads that are going to be placed in your uh, YouTube uh, videos, it's going to take hundreds of thousands, if not millions of views. Okay, So that's just the reality of it. It's like you're going to get uh, really few cents, uh, if, if any, 
um, on, on your uh, on your videos. I mean, I, we have a a client of ours that had four or five thousand views on their videos, and she was getting, I, I believe, uh, around twenty five to fifty bucks. Uh, that's the type of checks that she got. So it's not a lot of money. If you start to have an audience and you really start to have uh, thousands upon thousands of people watching your videos, you could certainly make some uh, some money out of it. But the reality is, it's going to take. Uh, really an enormous amount of traffic on your videos for you to make some money. So it's an option you can pick or not, but I just don't want you to be disillusioned that you're going to retire on making your videos. Uh, there's a couple of options with your videos. You can do an overlay and video ads, which means that um, you have, uh, before your video starts, you probably have seen it, you have actually a video ad that comes up and you have the skip, uh, skip this video, so you can actually skip it after uh, four or five seconds. Uh, and then you have the true view in stream ads, which means that during your video, you see a little pop-up banner that's come in and you can actually click to take it out if you want, uh, uh, if you want to take it out or not. So these are the two options that you can do. You don't have to do monetization, but if you want to do it, this is basically how you do it. So there's a setting in the, in the, um, in the monetization that you actually have to agree to the monetization. You have to agree to their terms. You have to do a whole bunch of stuff. So if you want to do the monetization, again, there are videos on how to set your uh, YouTube channel for monetization, and I'll put a link in there so you can go through that process. Uh, the next one is the advanced settings. Uh, that is also really important. Um, this is how you categorize uh, your video uh, more in depth. Uh, so you can allow comments. Uh, you can uh, users can view the rating for the video. You can set a recording date, so you can actually click on today, and it's going to put today's date. You can actually put the location. For us, we do our videos in uh, West Palm Beach, so by default, I say, well, it's done in West Palm Beach, so here, here we are. But if you record video, you're in New York, you might want to say, okay, I was in New York when I did that. Uh, you can allow people to embed the videos on their. Um, on their website or not, if you uncheck this, you can notify subscribers for uh, when your video is actually going live. You can enable an age restriction if you actually are using language or showing uh, uh, images that are not appropriate for children. And uh, this is a event setting that you also want to make sure that you do. And this is done after you've clicked on the done button, then the monetization and the event settings are going to show up. And this is how you upload a video to YouTube. Hope you enjoyed it. So please subscribe and we'll see you next week with another video. Thank you.